OK, so we're going to quickly cover how to add some basic text to your work for branding and watermarking purposes. So down here on the Tools panel, I can choose the Artistic Text tool. And the way this works is you can simply click drag out to define the initial font size. Then release the mouse button and type your text. Then to come out of editing the text, we can go ahead and select the pointer tool. And at this point on the context toolbar, we have all of our text related options. So for example, I can go in and change the fill to a near white color. And as we've got the pointer tool selected, I can also click drag to move the text around. And to choose a different font, I can simply select the font drop down here. And as I browse through the fonts, the text on the document will update in real time. So I'll go ahead and pick this font. And then to make some further adjustments to it, I can open up the character panel accessible here. OK, so by default, this is docked in this panel section here. I can actually click drag and bring the panel out on its own, which just gives us a bit of separation here and allows us to see our options more clearly. So what I want to do to this text is modify the tracking, which is this option here. So we can simply click on the drop down. And once again, as we scroll through the options, they update in real time. So I'll go for minus 50. But perhaps I actually want a greater negative value than that. So I can simply click the down arrow here for some tighter tracking. OK, then I want to add some more text. So once again, I'll use the artistic text tool. And this time I'll click drag and create a smaller font size. Then I'll type my text. And as before, I'll select the pointer tool again here. And then zoom in so I can align this with greater detail. OK, so once again, I'll change the fill to a near white. And actually, in this case, I might want to reduce the tracking. So I'll bring it back to 50% for now. Then we can go ahead and get rid of the character panel. And I want to transform both of these text layers. So I can simply either shift click them here or shift click them in the layers panel and then just click and drag to move them like so. So whilst I have both these layers selected, I can also on the layers panel, bring the opacity down to about 75%. This just helps take the edge off the prominence of the text. And then just to make them stand out, if I just select the JR layer for a moment, and I go into Layer Effects, Accessible here, and just drag this panel off to the side so we can see what we're doing. I can go ahead and add Drop Shadow. In Photo, this is referred to as an Outer Shadow. So we can just check this to enable the shadow, bring the opacity up, and just increase the radius. We should begin to see an effect here. just increase the intensity as well. So we're just adding a bit of shadowing to the background of the text here. We can go ahead and do the same with the photography text. We'll just select it on the layers panel here. Click the layer effects once again, and then add outer shadow, increase the opacity, increase the radius, and increase the intensity using slightly more conservative values this time. Then click Close. And if we select the Hand tool, just to get rid of the bounding box here, we can zoom out and evaluate the text in the context of the entire picture. So there we go. That's just a run through of adding some basic text to your images. 
and covering a couple of popular techniques, including lowering the opacity and adding some drop shadow to stylize the text. Thank you for watching.